Again, your second appearance of 2023 in the Octagon and your second victory. Man, this one was a hard fought battle, really entertaining fight. Your striking looked so good, the way you were switching stances. Was that the key to this one? Uh, I believe so. You know, I, I, going out this whole, I mean, preparation of this whole fight camp, I, I truly believe I was a better fighter technically from the stand up and the wrestling and the grappling. I had to fight this fight on my terms. I did get a little wild in there and I started matching his energy and got into that brawl. But, you know, uh, we, we worked a lot of things and some good stuff came out of it, but I'm just happy to get the win. What are the big positives for you out of this performance? Um, the win. Yeah, as <laughs> uh, it should be. I felt like I did a lot of good things. I, I tried some new things that I've been working all camp and uh, I had some success, especially from the southpaw stance. My jab was landing a lot. I wish I jabbed a little more. I wish I went to the body a little more. I, I had to be careful though, because I knew they were looking for the left hook and looking for stuff up, up the midline. So uh, I don't know, I'm just happy. I want to go back and watch the fight. I was a little disappointed after because of course I want to finish the guy. I had him hurt. I had him close to being finished, but he's dangerous, man. And he comes to fight. So I'm happy, I'm happy. You should be very happy. And you mentioned he's dangerous. He's also very durable. You dropped him at certain points in these fights but he was always able to withstand the storm. Did that surprise you at all? No, uh, I mean, you've seen his fights in the past. The guy, he's gotten dropped and comes back. He's a monster, dude, just like he said he is. And, you know, he wasn't telling a lie when he said I was gonna be fighting a monster. And the guy's a zombie, you hit him, he just keeps coming. You gotta put him to sleep. I probably should have like tried to choke him out or something, but I like that war sometimes. You know, this was an interesting fight to take because you're ranked number 13 and he is unranked, but extremely dangerous as you've been talking about. I mean, what happens now? You've, you've proved you will face anyone that the UFC gives you, but would you like to see someone with a number next to your name, a number higher than you maybe, so you could potentially take that spot? I think so. I, I know in the rankings, it, it gets very political. A lot of these guys, like, you know, they want to protect themselves. They want to protect their ranking, don't want to take risks. You know, I'm just in this to fight and stay active. If I go out there and fight a high ranked guy, I might get shelved, you know? So whatever is going to get me to the next spot, and I just want to keep climbing the ladder. If it's another unranked guy, if it's a ranked guy, if it's a guy ranked below or above me, it doesn't really matter. I want to build my resume again and start building up this win streak again. Dan, 50K, always game, e -gay. Before I let you go, they're telling me to wrap. I know you're seeing your dad for the first time in two years. He's yeah. going to meet your son, Bam. And on the heels of a victory like that, you have to be so excited for a family moment. Honestly, when my dad called me and told me that, I was like, in my last hard training session, I was kind of tired and burnt out. And when he told me that, it just gave me such a big boost of morale. I was more excited for that than the fight, sad to say. And um, I'm super pumped for that. It's going to be a great time in Hawaii, and I really can't wait. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.